Hi everyone, I'm Cerise. And I'm Joe. And today we are talking about fools. You know, the kind that we all make fun of. The people that do totally ridiculous, irrational things. Today I want to talk about a particular dimension of the fool that I was looking at. And this came up when I was asking myself the question, why am I doing what I'm doing? Why do I wake up in the morning and look for ways to share myself, uh, look for things to talk about, look for things to engage with so that I can be part of changing the world? When all evidence shows that the world is most likely not going to change, let alone even listen to me. Why do I act like a fool? And the only answer to that is because I choose to. Because I decide to. When we look at the world, it's really easy to go into the excuses of it's too big. It's, it's too, hard. too much. I can't do anything about it. I'm just one person. I, there's nothing we can do to change this whole world. It's impossible. It's irrational to think that way. The logical thing to do is to realize there's nothing you can do about it. But, you know, you can still try to make the best of your life and try to be a good person and get a job and work hard and... Build a good life for yourself. Just keep, keep on keeping on. But don't ever try to change the world because that is a crazy, crazy idea. That is a foolish, childish, immature idea to think that you could change the world. We have developed a culture of acceptance. Of accepting the way that things are without question. And assuming and believing that there's no way to change it. And that actually becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because when I look at all of the times when I started to look at that very statement of why bother, why should I continue, that moment just before, I will start to look at all the other people that I have come into contact with in my life, all of the other examples that people have set, and I start to pick and choose ones that fit my logic of look at all of these people and look at all of the things they've tried to do and the world hasn't changed. Who am I to think that I could in any way make an impact? But then I don't slow down and I don't realize how it's not about needing one person to change the entire world. That is, in fact, impossible. But what is not impossible is for people to start changing themselves and being a living example of taking responsibility for yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, your reactions, the way that you regard yourself and others, the way that you live your life is a statement. And unfortunately, many of us fall into the trap of not realizing how big of a statement we actually make with the kinds of lives we lead for the people in our lives, the people who, know, uh, whether we know it or not, do watch and learn from our living example. And what example do we set when we participate in that thought? It's too big. This world is too messed up. There's nothing I can do. And the smart thing is to do nothing and realize there's nothing that can be done and just try to live with it. You'll notice that that's pretty much what everyone else is doing. And are you being a part of the solution to change that? Or have you been part of the examples that they would use? If you take one person having that mentality, they're not going to have much of a difference. But take over 7 billion people all believing the same thing about the world, all believing that they will not be able to have any kind of effect, that the world is the way that it is, life is the way that it is, people are the way that they are, and there's nothing we can do about it. Well, then you get this. Look around you. Mm. This is what we've created, because all of us are a part of the world. 
And if we are all in that same space, in that same inner belief and perception about the world around us, then that is what we are going to collectively create and validate within each other. We are going to tell each other, yes, it's okay. It's just the way that things are. It's okay for you to feel that way. It's okay for you to feel powerless and believe that you're powerless because I feel powerless too. We can't do anything. Just try to be happy. So one way that I have learned to address this point whenever I see myself go into that pit of nobody's listening. What is the point? Why do all these videos why spend all of my life dedicated to this point when all evidence right now is pointing to the contrary, that people are not going to change, the world is not going to change, the environment is not going to get any better, the economic system is not going to have a change of heart. What I do is I first slow down and I drop all of those reactions and thoughts and feelings and over the years, as I've been working on myself to be able to do that more and more effectively, I started to see more clearly that it isn't about us having to change every single system in the world or going to overthrow every tyrannical government on earth. It isn't uh, about us having to constantly contend with a economic system that is designed to be predatory. It's about you taking your life into your hands from where you are as who you are right here, right now, in your own life. Obviously, one person alone is not going to change a government somewhere, is not going to change the economic system or a political system. Alone, no, we, we cannot change the world. But we can be part of the change. We can be part of the equality equation. We can be one plus one plus one. We can stand as examples. We can prove to each other that change is possible. And every person we prove it to who decides to live that change too becomes another example to prove it to more people in their lives. And so it ripples out. And the change can have an impact. It can have a significant impact, one that you might not have expected at first. And one that you could not possibly predict. Because right now, what are we all saying? We're saying that the government is too entrenched, our economic system is too complex and too big to fail. You notice how all of these statements are about things outside of you that you actually don't have the ability to control or direct, but you can control yourself and direct yourself. So in your own life, stop the corruption that you would normally point out in your government by no longer participating in gossiping about others or trying to manipulate people. Um, stop your own pattern of not being trustworthy or having integrity. Start living a life, a visible one, where you become part of the kind of world that you would like to live in. Be the example of the kind of person you would want to be your politician, your neighbor, the kind of people that you would like living with you. You have got to be the example of that. But imagine if all of us could do just that, not rally against a government or try to foment a revolution or fight against an unjust economic system, what if we all just focused on being the best possible people we can be in our own lives and strive to be an example of that for every person that we meet? If all of us do just that, imagine the kind of change that can happen. Suddenly, we might just realize that we're not bound to an economic system that is unfair unless we accept it. We're not bound to any law or any government system unless we accept it. So, be a fool with me. I commit myself to every day 
in every way, push myself. Whenever I want to give up and walk away and say no one else is listening, no one else is going to do what I'm doing, to double down on the foolishness, to do the impossible, to dare to dream, to dare that we can be better because I can be better and I have become better and I will keep being better in as many ways as I can because that is what I see is possible for everyone. So join us in our foolishness. If you enjoy our videos, please like, share and subscribe. If you like the work that we're doing and would like us to continue with your support, then you can check out our profile on Patreon, where you can be a part of supporting us to create our lives within what we're doing, the principles within what we, that we stand for and as. <laughs> and um, just generally uh, be part of our social experiment of foolishness. There we go. <laughs> Dare to be fools with yourself. And if you ever have that moment of, moment of doubt, remember, I will keep being a fool, even if it means I'm the only one. And especially if it means I have to be the only one, if only to remind you that you can be a fool too. Thanks everyone. I'll see you next time. <laughs>